Today I'm going to be talking about an ancient city in Greece called Attica. When searching Attica, Greece, you may not see the actual city itself, Attica, but you will see Athens instead. And the reason why you will see Athens instead of Attica is because it's basically the host of Attica, and Attica in the past was its capital city. And although Athens has been a supreme city since the Mycenaean age, it didn't control Attica until the 7th century. Talking about Attica, you cannot miss Mr. Cyclops. And Mr. Cyclops is the king who was believed to be the first king of Attica. He is actually half man, half snake. He came after King Antus and married his daughter, Angloros. He was said to create the laws of marriage and property and a new form of worship. He cancelled the human sacrifices way of worshipping their god. And he also made them use the way to bury the dead, is bury of the dead. And he invented a writing assigned by him and he diffused the tension between Poseidon and Athena trying to take over Attica. Next let's move on to history and meaning. According to the Greek legend or traditional story, there were normally 12, 12 independent communities that was joined together because of one king which is the king of Athens, which is King Theseus. These communities were at war, and then King Theseus came in and basically took over all of them. So now Attica is under Athens. And so the people by 700 BC, they divide themselves into four phili, or another word for phili is tribes. Then in 508 BC, statesman Cleisthenes, that's the name of him, reorganized the four tribes into a democracy basis, and then he made them into 10 phile, which is a tribe, like I mentioned before. And there are a variety of people, which are people from Athens, people from um, the countryside, people from the sea coast. So there are like a bunch of people together. And it was separated with their geography region, which is where they live, instead of community, not community, instead of family connections. So basically in the past, people with connections would have a higher, like a higher rank, and people with no connection would get like a lower rank. So yeah, he stopped that. Therefore, Attica became more democratic. By then, Attica Athens' power increased, while Attica's power decreased because they were under Athens. By 400 BC, Attica was dominated by Athens. By the time 480 BC, the Battle of Salamis happened, which is very a very well-known story of Greek, and involved Attica too. It was a battle between Greek and Persian navy. More than 300 Persian ships sunk and it's the result because of Athenian they attacked Persian with the help of Sparta and so with more people you win. Ten years later in 490 BC another event happened which is a war between Athenian and Darius which is the Persian again but this time they did not involve any Spartans. So with no help from anyone, they had to create another strategy of fighting, which is from Mr. Mytildes, if I pronounced it right. So he has a brilliant strategy, which is a really good foundation of war until nowadays. So basically the plan was to keep Persian in the city of Marathon. So this would prevent them from being outplayed by Persians. So now Athenians have a better position, which like they, they, they can stay anywhere, but uh, Persians stay in only one place. 
Now, what's the meaning of the word Attica? Well, Attica is Atticus, and Atticus in Latin means belonging to Attica, which is a region in Athens, like I mentioned before. And it has a really complicated, long history. And fun fact, the Roman Empire period, around 27th BC, Attica was popular for being a name for human. And that is because people want, like mother parents want their children to be indicated from where they're from, which is weird, but that's true. Now, what does Attica mean in Greek? It means the Attic Peninsula of the historical region that encompasses the city of Athens, which is the capital of Greece. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.